Not too bad. Come on, come on. Not bad. Not for an old high school friend. Hold this up. I'll explain what I've done so far. Nice picture of a bluegill. And uh, we're going to imitate this. Save image. All right. When I do, uh, oh, look, these guys are looking at my belly. I am not pregnant. Uh, there we go. Here we go. All right, look at that. Put the picture up here so I can look at its layers. Now, the bluegill's got sort of a, a lighter belly than it does a back. So we're going to, uh, what we did do is we are going to uh, I created two different bases, sort of a white to a gray to a black. When I put on the colors, this actually creates different contrasts and depths of color on the uh, on the uh, bait. So, but we're going to, ooh, there are so many different bluegill patterns, and there really are, but uh, I like this one. This is my favorite one. This has got sort of that white and red um, on it. So we're going to uh, take a, this is it for a buddy of mine, this is somebody I haven't seen for 40 years. We got to impress, right? Just got to impress. I got to impress you guys all the time anyway. But I'm going to lay down a, uh, this pearl uh, uh, white on the base and it'll come up just into that half body so off the bottom up and we're going to use a mesh in order to create um, scales so some uh, extender, some reducer, because this has a, a, a flake in it. It's rather thick. And I'm using a medium needle of tip. So I'm going to thin that out just a little bit, get it to flow better. So hair dryer is basically uh, drawing the base right now. So. Okay, so now we're going to take this pearl and we're going to get the bottom of it. This will give a, a base on top of the base. Let's see that white actually makes the pearl really stand out. 
um, where the black would actually dull it. But we're going to put a color shift in. Uh, color on top of the black. So it's going to come into a dark, you know, a green. So we're going to do that. Do a little flash dry. We're not going to get rid of this just yet because we're going to keep an eye on this. And uh, we may have to put a second coat on top of it. In the meantime, we got to take this uh, green. It's called Fastback Green. Yep. And shake really good. That's sort of an orange, too, on it. So, let me take it. I don't have much. That's all right. Because we really don't need We're just basically going to highlight down around the gills with this orange. That's what we're going to do. do, 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 do. We're doing four of these. I mean, two for him, two for me. So I did post a video earlier today about my run-in with a Karen yesterday. Really weird. But that's what happened. You don't run into a Karen too often. She was definitely a Karen. I didn't even know until I came home and told him. My daughter goes, oh, you met a Karen. I go, oh, I guess I did. These new terms escape me sometimes. No idea what her real name is. Didn't want it. So we're going to uh, purchase that a bit. Do a flash dry on that. And then we're going to this thing. Almost out of it. Okay. Yep, out of it now. We're just going to come up. Just a little bit of orange. A little bit of orange on it. Don't want to waste it. That's more of that leftovers. Really not much left in there, so. <sighs> All right. It looks kind of odd and wonky right now, but it's okay. It always does before you start getting the real colors and top colors on it. Hi, Emily. So, 
basically we just got the the, the pearl and the yellow uh, the orange on there but now we're going to use masking you know for the scales and we're going to uh, put this transition with this uh, color shifting paint on it so this will sh ship from like a gold into a green this which is really the dominant colors on the uh, the bluegill You gotta, shift, you gotta shake this really good because of, you know that the metallic flakes have to get real well mixed to get an even color shift on it. And then we're going to put a, a this mask over it in order to create scales. So we gotta make sure that those are dry too. So. <sighs> this one my buddy jar. Really cool. I haven't heard from John in 40 years. We weren't like buds in high school, but we knew each other, met each other. Yeah, my graduating class was 445, I think, is what our graduating class was back in 1982. And I graduated midterms, and I went back to walk with my class. But I, I, you know, I didn't finish the whole year with them. I did go to my 20 year reunion. It's still wet. Wet, wet, wet. Gotta get it dry. I hate to put the mask on it, it's still wet and pulls it off. It's like, ah! I mean, basically, you're just rushing it. Just because, I mean, because you want to see it, right? You want to see it. Because this next layer is really cool looking. But you'll see what, what you know, the black base does against the white base, you know, when I put this on there. So it really makes a big, big difference. Big difference. So, who else is up? Who else is uh, oh, Randall. So I've got this picture up on this, um, on this. So basically, we're shooting for something like this, and so we're shooting for that. So once I lay it on this color, then we're going to work on the stripes, which is going to be black, and then onto a black back. And then that gill right here, we're going to sort of hand paint that in order to get that that uh, that black spot by the gill. So, um, in order to really mirror it really well. So, we're going to use this little guy. This is my scales. In order to put it on there, this has to be dry. It still looks wet there. Look at these. Still wet. Yeah, I get them dry. Gotta get them dry. But yeah, the gills are going to be darker so i don't have to really you know so it's you know it's going to be kind of cool we look cool we look cool so uh i did paint this uh whopper plopper a couple days ago pretty cool looking whopper plopper and i did this like this is a pat uh, uh uh a paddle tail so it's kind of cool looking i think that that bright one's going to work out really really good so But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yesterday was a strange day, kind of a bad day for me. I sure wish I videotaped that Karen, I really do, I mean. 
Karens hate to be exposed. And it would have helped my case a little bit, but they are, she was just not nice. It wasn't nice. Karens are not nice. So. This one's dry. This one is close. We are going to vertical striking. Pretty good. And we're going to spray on this. Bam. You see, and that creates this. Really hard for you guys to see that, but looks good. <laughs> Now we got to dry that. I think this one is good too. We're going to do the same thing with this. And we're beautiful. Really is very very pretty. Now there's a lot more stuff we're going to do to, with, with this bait, but for the moment, it looks awesome. really is a very pretty bait. That's just one side, of course. So we're going to uh, do this. talking about. It's beautiful. It really is very, 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 very pretty. So now we got to dry, dry that side because I've got to lay it down on the other side to get a good mask on it with those scales. So uh, Do stripes, get my stripes mask out. There it is. Oh, stripes, 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 stripes. Okay, okay. This uh, really nice paint takes a while for it to dry. So, I mean, just got to put it in front of the dryer. Wait. But it really does look really good. You know, once we get the stripes on there and stuff and some of the accents, it's going to look really, really good. So.
And when I look at a, a picture, I look at sort of the layers, the, the tints and stuff like that. Uh, real important for me to try to see past what you see or the typical person sees and sees how say okay what's the base how did the base affect it and stuff like that so all that's got to come into the play here so i hope you guys are having a nice morning afternoon wherever you live so just uh gotta get this done from a book there is one more bait that I painted all white because this is a different type. It's a different. It's going to be a different type of bait altogether for John. And uh, so these are the bluegill baits. Like I said, choose for him, two for me. Yeah. You know we don't have bluegill um, in my area. <laughs> Not much anyway. It's rare. But. Uh, so I usually do a modified bluegill, which has more browns in it, and uh, that works really, really well. So, but yeah, the top water's doing really good right now. Let's see this. Got to be careful when I touch it. Touch it on top, because I'm going to paint the top black, and it is not dry yet. So I can mess up the top a little bit because, you know, I'm going to paint over that a little bit. So it'll be fun. So when you test the paint on it, you just got to sort of know where you're going to paint over in order. <laughs> so you can hide all the, your fingerprints. So. But yeah, we'll make John some really cool baits. I always surprise people with an extra bait. Um, so, we'll be out on the lake tomorrow and uh, fishing, Lake of the Woods. Now, Wednesday, I might go to a different lake. Um, I just might go to a different lake. I don't know. Um, I'm going to look at some fishing reports and find out where and where, you know, what's hitting. What am I doing, some crappie fishing or something like that? You know, maybe, I don't know what Immigrants Lake looks like. I heard it's bad. Um, you know, no water. And uh, so, that is really the best crappie lake we have. And I wouldn't mind crappie fishing. You just catch so many of them, and they're fun. Crappies are fun to catch. You know, they're, you got to be quick because they're quick. Um, so, Willow Lake is good crappie fishing. And I go to Willow Lake, it's just past Lake of the Woods, about 30 minutes. I like Willow Lake, it's a nice lake. So I might do that. I might go to Willow Lake on Wednesday. It doesn't have very good services or amenities, but it's a pretty little lake. And it's a little lake. They have bass too. A lot of perch. Everybody's got perch in this area. My goodness. Lots and lots of perch. Almost there, guys. We're almost there. And then we'll paint the other side. And that'll go faster. And then we'll uh, touch up the sides, the gills and stuff with the same paint. And then we're going to go with a black. And the black will be the striping on it. And uh, then we will do the gills. Uh, that is going to be done with a, a, an artist brush. So all that's going to be done. And then we'll do this funky one. We've got a funky one. Get bumped by. 
Good on this one. Put the uh, stencil on it. And then. There we go. So now we've got scales on both sides, which is important. Another very pretty scale design. So, I just should put this backwards so we get the other side dry. over it really tight. Take it off real quick so we don't get any smears. No smears. No smearing high scales. So we're done with this. Now I'm going to position these in a way that I can do my other touch ups. the scales into the backs. Look at the pictures. Really looks good, guys. These really look good. I think John will like these. First time he's ever bought from me. It is the first time John and I have ever communicated since 1982. <laughs> so what I want now is a transparent black. So I want to tint this uh, fastback green into a black. Oh, everybody said something. <laughs> uh, 
Get in touch with this shit. Hey, how you doing, Carl? Yep. Making some bluegills. Painting some bluegills. So now I'm going to tint this with a transparent black. I'm going to really get this dark. Still want that sheen, you know, that that gold in here to really shine through. So, and there is a gold, and I mean, it's just beautiful, actually. Really, really pretty. There it goes. All right, got it out. We got to now. We got to dry this. That was very important to dry. So you don't want to smear it. You don't want to smear. And now we're going to put the stripes on it. What did I do? Oh, there they are. Stripes. I'll put stripes on it. And then we got to do a little touch up around the gills. <coughs> and then put the bluegill on it. That trademark blackness on it. So, wait, wait, you guys, we went over there. Ah. Yeah, I know about the topic. Watch that video earlier that I did. That was, I mean, it's just so frustrating, you know, to run across Karen's. Should be a law against Karen's. Really should. Should be a law against Karen's. And then male Karen's just as bad, worse. <coughs> Had a lot of good experiences yesterday too. I think we give Karen's way too much power. They ruin your day. Even though you have a lot of good things happen that day, it's still these Karen's. And maybe they take satisfaction in that. Maybe that's what it is. They know that they have the power to make your day miserable, no matter how good it is. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But they're just not happy people, that's for sure. They definitely are an entitled species. That she really was acting very entitled. So. <coughs> I'm going to dry these so I don't mess up the scales when I put the, the mask on top of it. So... did help a friend that was sick yesterday. I'm really hoping I don't catch what he got. He, he had the stomach flu. I felt so bad for him. Though. I mean, when, when somebody you, you care about is sick, it doesn't matter. It's just, you just go in whole bore. And uh, you try to make a difference for him. It's like your children, isn't it? He's a good man, though. I know he's a good man. All right. We're getting close here. A mask. All right. So we have to bring it back off of the gill because we really want... really want to have that uh, stripe, you know, where it doesn't impede with the, um, 
video. Where is my blue tape at? At it just there it is. You guys see me paint these baits. He's like, it's just a bait, Mike. The fish don't care. And you're right. But you know what? This is a somebody that hasn't seen me in ages. And uh, I mean, a long, long time. All right. So let's. Uh, Stripes on it. Very important. The gills have stripes. And you know, fish love stripe hitting stripe lures. They really do. Stripe lures get more hits than solid lures, I have found out. And so I do a lot of striping. This little stencil, as simple as it is, is a winner. those in front of the dryer now. Bring these up. And we'll do these. Put a little tape on it in order to hold it against the lip. Keeps, you know, it's like having a third hand. It's really nice to have. I had some girlfriends in college that thought I had more than two hands. I probably did. Such a long time ago. My goodness. Alright. So I've got my stripes on here. Now I'm gonna do some finishing. Gotta blend those stripes up into the back. Around the head, gills. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm looking at that picture. Just making sure I get the highlights right. Same picture I have as the uh, the, uh, the avatar thingy. Okay. So we got that, that, that. All right. So. We got it around the eyes. Okay, now I'm going to let that dry just a little bit because now I'm going to go into my artist brush and we're going to get that blue gill gilt on here and uh, get that uh, looking really cool. Wash my hands a little bit. Simple green. Yeah, I bought this uh, airbrush thing. It doesn't work as good as Simple Green. Simple Green just is better. It's a lot cheaper. 
Yeah. Get it bigger quantities. Let's see what we got. Oh, Carl. Oh, thanks, right touch. I really appreciate it. Conry. <laughs> Conry's here. Oh. Now, Conry and I, we went fishing together on Wednesday. And we had a great time. <laughs> we had a great time. So, but yeah, these are my bluegills. So far. I haven't put the bluegill on it yet. <laughs> so we are going to grab the right brush. We do have a brush that I cut just for stuff like this. Uh, I think this is, is that it? It's gotten a little frayed. It's a fray. So. Uh, it's too pointy. It's not that's a good brush for it. All right, so now we're going to take some of this black that I have already mixed. And we're going to put this to create that blue gill that these guys are known for. It's not really blue. That looks good. I like it. I like it. And Connor, I did find your uh, your topwater bait. It was in the boat, so I got it. So, all right. So we got those. Let's get these done. Send this video over to John so you can see me making his baits. <laughs> it's always neat to see your baits made by hand. Okay, I like it. I really do like all this. So, um, so I mean, it looks really, really good. Um, really good. I like them. Now after I put the eyes and the clear coat and stuff, they've got gold eyes, which is fine. And uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, this, it'll, it'll look really good with the clear coat and stuff. But I like the way those turned out. They look real, they look like, they look like bluegills. It's funny when people say, Mike, can you paint a bluegill? I go, yeah, why not? I could paint a bluegill. I could paint it. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. Those look really good. All right. So let's uh, clean this brush out. And then we are going to paint this other really strange looking one, you're going to think. But John really likes it. So. Um, we are going to paint that one for him. Where's my little brush? I had a brush. I had a brush. I had a brush. Aichi. 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 There it is. Oh, it's false. Wait, wait, wait. So 
those are blue yellows. We did two different bases, white and black. Two different stencils, scales and stripes. And, uh, and a little hand touching. Yeah, it really is. You get these out to John later this week because I got to put eyes on it. I got a clear coat. It takes a while for the clear coat to cure. And then you got to put the hardware on it, right? You got to put the hardware on it. And we just got all new hardware in, so that's good. And if you guys ever want something, you just email me. Terrible at fishing 2019 at Gmail. And uh, you just have to email me, and you know me. Always happy to paint a new lure. I like painting lures. Especially on a special request. It's kind of fun. Special requests are fun. So we are going to need this. This I know. This color. Look at this color. The color's crazy. Fluorescent yellow. That'll be the base for this other one. Crazy. Let's see what you guys are saying. Wow. Perch shallow diver. Ah, oh, that's always a good one. A perch shallow diver is always a good one. So, so I already put a all white base on this for this bait, and uh, this takes actually quite a few coats of this in order to really bring out the fluorescent color in it. So this one you got to dry paint, dry paint, and you just got to keep laying on layers until this thing becomes so brilliant. Another coat on it, and maybe a third coat. I and mean, we really got to try to get this incredible yellow out of it. And then we're going to put this incredible red on top of it. I know it's crazy looking bait, but he really wants one. And what the customer wants, ah, the customer gets right. Tap it keeps falling down. Let's see if I can. Position it better. Actually, I don't really need. I can put you guys on over here because I'm done with this picture of the bluegill. Let's pull up YouTube and pull you guys up so I don't have to walk over there and see what you're all saying. Okay, there you are. Ta -da! Ta -da! Emily, Carl. All right, so we got everybody up. I can read you from over here now. This paint takes a it takes a lot of mixing too. Things are glow in the dark. Be really cool under a black light. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me back to college days. 
long, long time ago. I mean, after you clear cut, it really pops, but we are going to really want to make this thing so yellow for John. We got to dry it more. And we'll do some touch-ups on it, make sure it's all opaque. Chick, chick, chick. Check, check, check. Check your pee ink. Check your pee ink. Oh, check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Hey, Connery, go to my earlier post and leave a comment or your experience with me. If you're like a guest at Lake of the Woods, you could talk about how we went fishing and stuff. And that might help me out a little bit, I don't know. You know, not all the bosses see everything I do for everybody, so. Especially the one that talked to me yesterday. We had a great time at those lily pads, though. My goodness. Those lily pads were blind. Almost had that one in the boat. They were busting. Okay, that's the last of that. So good. That thing is bright yellow. You can't get brighter yellow than that. So now we're going to rinse this out. We're going to put the red in there as soon as that dries, and then we will uh, mask the rest red texture over it. And John will have the big blue ones. It's good looking big. He lives in, I think, Arkansas. He lives in Arkansas. Yeah, for all the years that we, you know, we grew, we grew, grew up in a small town, Santa Barbara County. And uh, well, I'm Pope. You ever heard of that? I don't know, nobody has. But that's where we grew up. So. Yeah, that's what the Karen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. When people have good experience, they don't usually leave remind, you know, feedback cards. <laughs> they only get feedback cards usually on the really bad stuff, you know. Uh, and people like to vent, you know, they don't like to compliment on comment cards as much. So, so we're using this pattern. I don't know. It's kind of crazy looking better on this bait. But it looks great. This is one of my favorite stencils. Because uh, there's so many different areas of this that I can use. Uh, big and small and stuff. It's really a fun stencil. Very fun stencil. Get some uh, paper clips. Paper clips for the blue gills. 
So, bluegill, bluegills. We'll hang these up to cure. We'll put eyes on them. Then clear cut. It's a process. It's a process. It's the way it is. Always a process. Good looking bait. Good looking. I always say that when I paint a bait too. And I was like, I know it sounds so immodest. It just does. You know? It is, I guess, immodest, but it is fun to see something from a picture here come alive on a bait here. That is fun to see. To see so. And then I'll send this video to John, and he can watch me paint his baits, which is really cool. John's a pretty cool guy in high school. Me, I wasn't, I was kind of the invisible guy in high school. Oh, look, you guys are tilted. Ah, there you go. Um, the, uh, I mean, I was kind of a nobody. Lost in the middle, always in the friend zone with the girls, so never dated in high school. Too shy. Too shy. Okie dokie. So now we got this incredibly bright yellow paint. I mean, this thing is so yellow, it's just glow in the dark. So now we're going to take this. And we are going to create a pattern over it. This. Uh, I have to lay it down like I did the others to get that uh, stencil to lay flat on it. All right. And I know that's the pattern he wants. So now I got to try that side <laughs> because we got to lay it down on the other side. It'll dry faster ish because there's really not that much paint on it. So my hands off a little bit so I don't get this paint on it. Thanks, Connery. I mean, they... It's not like self-promotion about leaving, but you know, I just want them to know that more people like me than hate me at Lake of the Woods. Like I said, Karen's, they're loud. So that's all they hear. It's my only complaint. I think it's my own only ever complaint. Dry, dry, dry. So these are S curve square bills. That's basically what I'm painting here. S curve square square bill. And uh, these are medium divers typically. Um, depending on retrieve speed and tip height. Bluegills look great, though. I like the scales on them. Stripes came out nice. Looks good.
still not dry. You can tell. <laughs> we look at it, have to touch it. Uh, we're working on it. We're drying it up. So we can flip it around and do the other side. And then we'll do the, uh, the backbone on it and uh, do that. So, but uh, I am losing weight. I don't know if you guys notice. I mean, it's still got a belly on me, but I am losing weight. I'm trying to get down to 200 pounds, which is a long way still, but. Yeah. yeah, shallow dive perch. I do. I think I, I have some shallow divers out there. So the um, you know, I did a signature series, which is the big ones. Really took a lot of layers, a lot of painting time on them. And uh, the resort sold two out of three so far, so really nice. Makes a great gift for some a fisherman, you know, a large, large custom painted. Still, still needs to be dry. So, and uh, we also. Um, I told you I offered my resignation if he wanted it, and he immediately said no because one person does not make my career, but to your boss it could. Best thing about that, Karen, is when she texts the boss, she says she'll never come back again. It's actually my favorite part of the text. So, good riddance, I say, because she does cause trouble beyond me. And everybody else is always so nice, you know? Always so nice. Still need to dry a little longer. Um, <clears throat> there are certain avenues of sports like car collecting. If you're a Mopar collector, you're a cool guy or gal. You just are. Mopar guys and gals are just cool. Fishing, usually cool. By the way, they weren't fishermen. They're recreational boat boaters. They, they had a fishing boat, but they were out there causing havoc out on the water. So, good riddance. That's what I say. That one customer can drive, you know, three or four customers or more away. And they're just not worth having. They're just not worth having. I don't care how good a friend they are to you. When it comes to business, get rid of them. Send them to another lake. Walmart. <laughs> Send them to Walmart. Okay, I think we're good. So, we're going to the other side. Of this thing. Mm -hmm. There we go. So now we have two sides of this bait done. So now we're going to uh, blend that onto the backbone. Around the eyes, darken them up a bit, and voila, you have what John wants. That is what he wants, and what you want, I paint. <laughs> it's just the way it is. That is turned out. I mean, it's pretty. It's good looking. Good looking bait. I hope you like it, John. I hope you catch a lot of fish with my baits. I mean, that's really the that's really the goal. I mean, I'll pinch you ugly baits. So if they're catching fish, you can catch ugly. I'm good, and I'm sure you would be too. So what I'll do, you know, these have to hang and dry, 
and then uh, I have to glue eyes on them. And after I glue eyes, after that sets, then I will clear coat it. And that will take, you know, three days or so for the clear coat, because it's an epoxy, to set on it and, and get really, really hard before I can actually, you know, um, put hardware on it without damaging it. So, John, you have your custom baits painted. And that, that's a John Bickmore special right there, baby. There you go. Oh, it must be my camera. You guys fell. Ah, your camera fell. <laughs> All right, let's clean this out. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> It wasn't even my cat's fault. Sometimes Bella comes in here and visits. Actually, a lot he does. He was in this morning. So, those are my baits. Bluegills and uh, fluorescent yellow special. Um, I'm not sure exactly what to call it. Um, Pick more bait. <laughs> we'll have to pick more bait. Name it after John. do some more large you know just you know designer baits you know that I, love, I really enjoy doing those because they're very detailed and it takes a long time for me to paint one but in the end it just really shows off you know skill so but uh anyway i'm gonna leave you guys and i'll send this video over to john so he can see me paint his baits I want to thank you guys for stopping by, hitting like, um, supporting me. Check out the Karen video earlier. And if you if we've met and had an interaction, put down your experience um, down in comments. I really appreciate it. So maybe my bosses would see it. I don't know. If they don't, it'll make me feel better to know that somebody other than a Karen says something about me. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video today.